Now for some fresh, delicious, and savory food ideas. It's time to get cooking with Chip. Welcome back. Happy New Year. Time to put the past behind us and a fresh start. And of course, in the kitchen on New Year's, you have to start with three Southern staples, cornbread, greens, and of course, black eyed peas. And that's what we're going to do right now. So take note, one of the things you want to do when you're making black eyed peas is have a good onion. And today we're doing our peas in a crock pot. So many other things to do, you don't want to have to be locked into the stove. So take your onion, dice it into fairly good sized chunks. You don't want to have it ultra, ultra small. You can go ahead and put a little bit of this onion in the crock pot itself. Now the beautiful thing about black eyed peas is you have absolutely no fat, no trans fat, no cholesterol, they're high in fiber and they're absolutely loaded with protein. And what you wanna do when it comes to your peas is give them a good soaking before they go in the crock pot. We have had these soaking for a while and here's how you can tell your peas have not been soaking long enough. Take a look at these. Now, here in the bowl, we have some that have actually been soaking overnight. They're plumper, they're bigger, and it floats the dead skin away from the pea itself. So what else do you need to put in the black eyed peas? I like using garlic. Adds a lot of flavor to it. It marries very well with the onions. It also marries well with salt and just a little bit of sugar. Some people also put honey in their peas as well. You can also add a little bit of salt, which we have done here, and this is some Himalayan pink salt. It's lower in sodium, but still has really, really good flavor. Last, but certainly not least, as far as the cooking seasonings are concerned, we have gotten a delicious ham bone. Now this comes out of your conventional honey baked ham. You can debone it. I like to leave a little meat, a little ham around the bone itself. It'll cook off as it goes through the crock pot process and give you with an incredible flavor, not only for the ham, but for the peas themselves. So again, you want to have your peas soaking for a couple of hours. Beautiful thing about putting peas in a crock pot is you can either turn them on just before you go to bed or before you begin your New Year's Day activities. Four or five hours later, they are done. Now, why black eyed peas for New Year's? What makes that such a holiday tradition? Well, legend has it that General William Sherman on his march through Atlanta took everything but the peas and left those for the plantation owners whose homes he devastated and for the Confederate soldiers. So that was a good luck for them and hopefully it'll be good luck for you. Now, as far as the liquid is concerned, you just wanna cover your peas a little bit with water. You can even let them soak in the crock pot itself. Stir it around to where you've got a good, good mix of the onion, the garlic, the salt, any sort of sweetener product that you may like. Then you can put your ham bone in or whatever else you like. And the beautiful thing about doing black eyed peas, cornbread and greens, of course, you can continually add to it. Make each of these dishes your own. In our home, we like to serve it with some good old fashioned collard greens. You can get these in the can, you can get them fresh, however is easiest for you to prepare. One of the reasons that supposedly collard greens, kale, cabbage, or what have you brings good luck for the new year, the raw leaves before they're cooked look like folding money. So enjoy it with your collard greens. And of course you can have black eyed peas and collard greens without cornbread. This hopefully will symbolize the good luck and the golden fortune that you will have in the years ahead. We did a trial run on these and I've got to tell you, mm -mm, absolutely delicious. However you prepare your peas, your greens, your onions, or your cornbread, all of us here at News 12 wish you a very happy new year and hopefully the cornbread and the golden color of it will reflect the opportunities that you have in the year ahead. I'm Chip Chapman. That's a look at what's cooking. And if you'd like more information, drop me an email. Here's the address, Chip Chapman, cchapman at wdef.com. Again, if you'd like the black eyed pea recipe, email me, cchapman at wdef.com.
Happy New Year. We're back after this.